Orlando is grieving, Florida is grieving, and our nation is grieving. And we're grieving over a horrific attack. It was a terrorist attack. It was an attack on the LGBT community. And it was a mass shooting committed by someone who was using an AR-15 to gun down as many people as possible. 49 lives were taken. The terror watch list loophole that, that permits suspected terrorists to purchase weapons of war, if we can't come together to do that, even that basic step, we will fail the American people. 90% of suspected terrorists have successfully bought weapons over the last 11 years in this country. If we take these two steps, we will first of all honor the memory of those 49 who were slaughtered in Orlando by showing that we're acting in their memory. And secondly, we'll be showing the American people that we can take a step that will help to save lives. That's why we're here today. That's what we're going to do. I am a gun owner, and I don't think anybody's coming after my gun. But this absurd notion that everybody should have a gun, regardless, makes no sense to me. And I personally can't imagine the agony of what a parent must go through when they get a call saying, well, sorry, your child's gone.